الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا. One of the students from the 1A class reached out and asked for help or assistance with being able to pronounce the new words. And as the we're in we're transitioning from the introductory class to the 1A class, I thought that was a reasonable request. So what we'll do for the rest of the vocabulary from units 2 to units 4, because that's all we'll be studying in the 1A level, uh, I'll help you with uh, pronouncing some of those words, inshallah, to, for you to be able to practice on your own. So we only have four words here, for our, so our task is easy in unit 2. As you can see here, uh, this is Medina book, page 13. This is if you have the traditional Medina book. If you have the newer one with the picture of the little boy and the little girl that's colorful on the front, then your pages will be a little bit different. All right, so here we only have four words. Uh, the first word that we have here, we notice here a kesra and a hamza. So here we would say i. And then we have a meme with a fata followed by an aleph. So that's an elongation. So that's ima, ima. And then here we have a meme with two dhammas. So that would be imamun, imamun. And as we mentioned previously, if two dhammas comes at the end of a word, then we generally won't pronounce it if it's the end of a word or a phrase. So we would just say this is imam. If this was with the hadha, then we would say hadha imam. Hadha imam. And an imam, of course, is a prayer leader or a religious leader uh, in a community. The next word that we have, we have ha with a fatha, and we have jim with a fatha, and we have ra with dhammatan. So we would say ha, and then this would be ja, haja, haja, get that from the throat. Haja, and then here we have the ra with the dhammatan, hajarun, hajarun. And because this is the end of the word uh, and the end of what we're saying, then we wouldn't pronounce the dhammatan, so we would just say hajar, hajar. Here we have a scene with a dhamma, and then we have a calf, and the calf has a shadda on it with a fatha, and then the ra has dhammatan. So here we would say su. And then here with the calf, we would say, it's going to be difficult to pronounce this shadda uh, without pronouncing the, the, the letter before it. Because really a shadda is like two calves. The first calf has a sukun on it, and the second one has a fatah on it. So we would really need to say, sukka, sukka. So now we're going to say, sukka, sukka. So it's almost like you're stopping and then starting again. Sukka. Sukka. So here we would say sukkar, sukkarun, sukkarun, sukkarun. And then because we won't be pronouncing this last dhamma ten, we're going to say sukkar, sukkar. The last one, uh, pretty simple here. We have a lamb with a fatha, we have a ba with a fatha, and we have a noon with two dhammas. So this would be la, and this would be ba, and then this would be noon. So we would say la ba nun, la ba nun, la ba nun. And then again, because of this final dhamma tan, we're not going to pronounce that. So we would simply say leban. We would simply say leban. Okay, so that's it for page 13, inshallah. You found that helpful. Uh, we will cover the other pages, inshallah, in videos to come. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.